After picking up our rental car at the train station in Ivano Fransvisk, we started our drive to Yeremchi, the Carpathian Mountains. A word of warning, if you plan to drive in Ukraine, the roads are shocking. Quite easily some of the worst roads we've ever driven on. The wet conditions made it even harder as you weren't able to tell how deep some of the puddles were. And trust, some are very deep. In Yeremchi itself is a small cascading waterfall that you can walk to. The water runs down here and into the river that passes through the town. We stayed in this small log cabin. It was simple but perfectly located just behind the train station and within an easy walk to the town's amenities, such as mini markets and restaurants. On our first night, we ate at Colbo restaurant. It's probably the most expensive place in town, but it's still dirt cheap by Western European standards. We enjoyed this cold meat platter, followed by dumplings, stewed cabbage, local sausage, potato dumplings and pickles. We didn't have dessert, but did indulge in these mushroom filled phyllo pastry pies with sour cream. The weather in these parts changes quickly. We visited in mid-April and woke up to a blanket of snow. This made for a pretty drive out to the viaduct, a disused train bridge about an hour out of town. It's cool to climb up and walk along, but be careful though, there are zero safety precautions here. The bridge was originally built in the late 19th century, but fell into disrepair during the Soviet era, and instead of repairing it, another bridge was built, which still serves the train line today. Driving in this region is the only way to get around easily. You are rewarded with a glimpse into rural, mountain, village ways of life. One of the best things is that you will come across cute little houses, bridges, shops and churches that you can stop off and enjoy. Driving around, we noticed these massive birds' nests on top of lampposts. Kind of creepy.
Colonia is a fair-sized town, a kind of regional capital. The town itself is pretty run down and tired looking, but we made the trip here to visit the Pishanka, or Egg Museum. The tradition to paint eggs dates back centuries, and some of the designs are amazingly intricate. There was a small market on when we visited, where you will find all the usual groceries, as well as fresh fruit and vegetables. We got the impression that many of the sellers here were selling their own produce. As well as this, we saw some pretty weird bits, like dried whole fish, locally produced sausages, and homemade pickles available for purchase. We stopped for a coffee and a cream-filled donut. You can't go two minutes in this region without seeing a church. Centuries old ones stand next to fancy brand new ones and the design varies massively. Most are in the orthodox style, but we like the older wood-built examples. The onion-shaped dome roofs are typical of the orthodox style, as is the gleaming gold finishes. You can't miss these as you're driving around. They really stand out against the green hills and people's more understated homes. For our last meal in town, we went to Kavichka Dolnya restaurant. We were served a traditional snack of lard and bread, which we decided not to try. Dumplings filled with meat and sour cream, a huge barbecued salmon steak and chicken breast, all accompanied with veg. Really cheap, but excellent quality and super tasty. If you find yourself traveling without a bottle opener and you want to take a beer with one of those kind of caps on, the little trick is to grab an empty plastic water bottle, angle it so that your first finger is underneath the lid and the side of the lid touches the underneath of the bottle. And then you just want to angle whilst putting pressure on your finger. Hey presto. Our three days in the mountain soon came to an end and it was time to head up to Lviv. Check out this as well as our other videos in our Ukraine series on the Memory Seekers channel and subscribe so you don't miss out on our upcoming trips. Until next time, happy travels from the Memory Seekers.